Good evening and welcome to Bad Chat. I'm your host, Mama Dima. Uh, we're chatting to Tepang Makete this evening. We're going to get him connected in a bit and then we're going to get started. So welcome everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully the internet today will work with us uh, and then we can get this chat going. But Tepang is with us today in the building. Uh, welcome everybody. I see you Blitz Comet. I see Voter 7D. I see Precious. I see Bungaba. Bungaba. I see you, <laughs> Uncle K. Welcome, Lenta Swanapu. Nice swipe. I see you. Uh, I see Luvenik. Welcome to you as well. Stoki joined. Welcome, guys. It's going to be a good one. We're chatting to Tepang Market. It's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be all things throws. We're going to hear his story. I think it's going to be an amazing story. Just going to wait for him to log in shortly and then we're going to get uh, going. Hopefully, everything works. Perfecto Mondo. So we're just checking on Tepang shortly and then we're gonna get going. So good evening everybody. Hope you guys are well. I see Tepang is here. And then we'll get started. Welcome to Back Chat. I'm your host Tama Madima. Powered by Backtrack Sports. Let's see if the connection will work with us. I see uh, Jess Racewalker, I see you, MT Pretorius, welcome, welcome, Tiamo, I see you, I'm Johannes, I see you as well, welcome guys, thanks for joining in. Make sure if you have any questions or anything that you want to chat about, send it through, send it through. Kalis, I see you, Tanya, London Linden, I see you as well, Mary Repas, welcome, welcome. Just waiting for Tepang to connect and then we're going to go live. Just give us a moment, give us a moment. Let's see if we can get him back on here. A lot of exciting things happening in uh, South Africa, obviously. Athletes are still trying to qualify. Uh, down in Cape Town, with the likes of uh, Precious Michelle, they're trying to qualify in the 5,000. HD Block is in 3,000. Um, it didn't go according to plan, but it was uh, exciting to watch it away. In Pretoria, we had the likes of Rantidi Hale, who was doing the things in the 400, running a sub-46, um, 45-88, as well as other awesome performances there. So yeah, checking food is good. Um, there was a launch of the SAE uh, kit as well. My brother. Pratizo, Pratizo. Hey, what's good, my brother? What's good? <laughs> now nah, we good, man. How's it going that side? Ah, all good, man. I'm glad you were able to connect. I was a bit uh, skeptical of the connection. Uh, it's probably my side. So thanks for, for trying again, man. How have you been? Nah, I've been great. Been great. This part of the cold country. How are you there? <laughs> hey, winter is here, Chief. Uh, so, yeah, we are, we are, we are staying strong. <laughs> Full force. Full force. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, once again, man, I just want to thank you for, for joining us. Uh, I'm excited. I know it's going to be a good one. We're going to start off Monday strong with a, with a powerful, powerful chat uh, with one of SA's, you know, up and coming. You know, you've been there. You've, you've done it. And you're still young, man. You've got so much time on your hands. Uh, so it's exciting. <laughs> but let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to start Ned. with an introduction. And then from there, we'll get started. Is that cool? Now we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen carefully. This is a lot of stuff I'm going to read here. So listen carefully, listen carefully. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, with us this evening, we've got Tepang Makete. Listen, he is World Continental Cup uh, Hammer Throw finalist, African Championship Hammer Throw bronze medalist, African Under 20 Championship Hammer Throw silver medalist, SA Senior Hammer Throw a champion, in interesting story behind that one. Uh, Two-time World University Games, Hammer Throw finalist, Commonwealth Games finalist, SA Under-23, Hammer Throw champion. Uh, we've got World Under-20 championship, Hammer Throw finalist. Two-time SA Under-18, Hammer Throw champion, as well as World Under-18 championship, Hammer Throw finalist. Ladies and gentlemen, Tepang Makete. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, 
what a CV, man. Aren't you like shocked to hear some of these things, man? It sounds like, you know, you're only 25, but it sounds like you've been in this game like forever, man. You, you've been to World Youth, <laughs> you've been to World Junior, Commonwealth. No, I you've had been to. Continental Cups, African Championships. At the age of 25, man, that's a lot. No, I, I had to think back as you were naming some of the stuff. I'm like, wait, did that really happen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nah, this guy is putting stuff on my CV to make me look good. <laughs> nah, bro, I didn't boost you with anything, but yo, it's, it's amazing. We are, and I mean, that just shows the, the caliber of, of thrower you are. You know, you've come through the ranks, you know, you've paid your due. Um, and now, you know, obviously, uh, but stamping yourself as uh, a top international senior is, is the next phase. And that's hard, you know, and that takes a lot of time and experience. But, I mean, um, you've shown that you're capable of being there as well. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting chat, man. Interesting chat. Yeah, look, look, definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. So, let's start in the beginning. Your nickname. What is, the, what is your nickname? What, is the, what do they call you? What do you call yourself? Do you have any nicknames? <laughs> uh, there's, there's this one nickname that has always stuck with me, especially at seniors, at at, at national champs, um, um, Alters always used to point a year before I was born, and throughout throughout my <laughs> career, my senior career starting out in in 2014, I was, I'd, I'd like to say I was put behind Chris, and Alters had dubbed yeah, me yeah. the Prince of Hell in South Africa. I was like, that might as well stick. Ow, Why not stay ow, with ow. it? And yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I might as well use the that. So that's my <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. The prince of the hammer. Uh, hammer prince. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Yo, it's amazing, man. I mean, like even if, if I just think of, you know, if we think of hammer throw, there aren't, I don't want to say there aren't many hammer throwers, but I mean, your your story in itself is unique. And uh, the way, you know, you guys, have, uh, you, you, when I say you guys, I say even your family, the way you guys have made this uh, event, uh, like a family business, so it's, it's, <laughs> it's quite interesting. But let's start at the beginning. How did you discover the hematur? Were you busy working at home there? And <laughs> like, ah, and you're like, ah, I'm a busy. You know, and you threw it out of the window. <laughs> funny enough funny enough that's that's everybody's reaction when i tell them that i'm a hammer thrower they're like wait so plumbing i'm like no 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 no. i'm, I'm an athlete hammer throw do you guys throw yeah. real hammer huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, no um i grow, growing up I'm, I'm i'm from a very athletic family so um yeah. my mother was a volleyball player in her college days um, yeah. My father was a soccer player as well in in his in his youth days as well. So um, yeah, I'd say I have a very strong athletic background um, from yeah. from both sides of the family, actually, you know. And okay. in in primary, yeah, I'd like to think that in primary I was very much sporty as well. Uh, I did everything: rugby, athletics, tennis. I was I was everywhere. I was everywhere. Any any sporting yeah. event that allowed me to to take part in it, I, I was. You were probably gonna find me there. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Fast forward, fast forward twenty ten. My my grade eight year in 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 high school. Yeah, technical high school, Sasselberg. Uh We had this color sport thing going on, so yeah. they divide the school into two different colors and the red team and the blue team and we just go out to the stadium on a specific day and everybody try out all the events that you like and funny wow. enough hammer was there i was like wait but i did everything i've never seen this one before so yeah. <laughs> I, I i got out to that to that funny looking event i was like wait i think i might want to try this and I I tried it, started off with a measly 17 meters. I was like, yeah, yeah. no, is this good? Is this bad? Is it... No, it's, it's, it's very good for somebody who's starting out. I'm like, yes, okay. I think I'm going to stick to this <laughs> one now. <laughs> so um, I, had, I had my first coach, uh, Betty Haramsa, 
not related to yeah. Chris Adams at all. No relation whatsoever there. No relation. Uh, okay. Okay. Coached me for that first grade eight season. I think I I finished second at the free state champs, but because of how um, performance based our sport is, I didn't qualify for for SA schools. And yeah, I thought okay, at least I got to free state. Oh, Escom, Escom hit me. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let... <laughs> All right, guys. It looks like we're going to, uh, to talk to uh, no shady. Are you still there? You must get a candle, man. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we've lost him to load shedding. Um, so let's see if we'll be able to connect. Are you back? There's a you candle bin in there. Hey, Eskom. Yeah, Eskom hit me hard. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, but at least at least your network is still going with the load shedding and all. So let let let, let pick carry on. You said uh, 17 measly throw. Uh, to start off. Yeah, since so, 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 you, you got your coach. 17 meters as where I started. Yeah. Um, and then in when was it? In June, July, June, July, that same year, um, Stefani, yeah. Stefani hooked me up with 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 my previous coach, uh, Basi Kun, and um, yeah. yeah, it's 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 been a fruitful partnership ever since ever since then. Uh, the following year, I won my first SA Schools surprise win. Well, not really a surprise win, but for me, it was a surprise. Like, okay, I'm yeah, the only yeah. black guy. Okay? Yeah. And yeah, I'm seeing yeah. all these huge white guys. I'm like, ah, ah, <laughs> And next, next thing you know, it, it's just been going on year after year like that. I'm um, grade nine, won essays. Grade ten, won both essays and ASA champs. So that that's pretty much been the basic trend since I started working with with Coach Parsi. Yeah, I mean it's amazing. So obviously. Um, you know, from coming from, you know, just trying out an event, you know, uh, for the first time to getting a coach in that event and then um, going all the way and progressing towards your first uh, national slash international competition um, at the World Youth Championship. What's going on in your mind? I mean, that's, that's intense. And I mean, also, never mind going to World Youth Championship. You get there and you finish a sixth, you know, it's, that's that's... That's 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 solid, you know. How how, how does this journey? No, uh, how does this the, journey go? The, the actual the actual story behind behind all of that is 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 um I don't know if I can say it's really funny, but um, two thousand and two thousand and eight, two thousand and eight, the the Olympic yeah. the Olympic in two thousand eight Beijing, um. I remember I saw this Belarusian hammer thrower, uh, Vadim Divyatovsky, yeah. right? I see, I see Vadim, I see Vadim in the circle. I'm like, yeah, this is... Now, this was before my grade 8 year. I was still in grade 6 at the time. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, I've been, I've been doing javelin, yeah. I've been doing short foot, discus, this one. And Vadim wins a silver medal with an 82... Five something meters, and like, wow, okay, so this this thing looks really fun. And then, 20, 2011 was the world youth champs in France, Lille. Yeah, and yeah, and I remember I saw the hammer throw there again. I was like, wait, so each group these things happen as well. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. So, okay, the same day after, after seeing the hammer throw. I, I go to my coach. It's time for training. I go to my coach. I tell him, um, there's World Youth Championships happening in France. And I mm. see that the next one is in 2013, two years from now. And I want to go there. Mm. He yeah. looks at me. He's like, you what? I'm like, yeah, I want to go there. I want to I want to experience this. Now, <laughs> my guy is all 
he's very chilled about it. He tells me, but you know, there's a lot of work waiting for you. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Take me, Ooh. take me. I'm, we're down for it. And we train. Yeah. We, we, we train. We trained for, we trained for, I don't know, those, those past two years we trained. Uh, he basically told me, man, you're going to have to take this serious if you are sure, sure, sure trying to gun for the World Youth Champs. I'm like, coach, I'm not playing here. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. We start, we start <laughs> formulating a plan. He tells, he tells me, okay, the winning throw was an 82. It's the five kilo. Right now you're training the five kilo run about 50 meters. So we have a lot of work cut out for us. I'm like, no, cool. We work through that. The 2012 uh, SA Champs, I threw like a 61 roundabout. And that was a, already a 10-meter improvement from my previous year. And he's like, no, you, you look like you, you're right on the schedule that we'd set up. So things are going to look pretty yeah. good for you the following year. Uh, following yeah. year, uh, through 72 meters at SA Schools and... That that just set up my my confidence. Like, yeah, no, um, it's gonna be a great competition. It's gonna be a great competition. The prep, the prep was done meticulously. Everything went according to plan. And leaving leaving SA, I remember I had just thrown over seventy five for the first time in training, and I think that was like maybe two or three weeks before we had to leave. And my coach, yeah. my coach asked. My coach asked me, okay, so what do you think is the winning distance going to be? And I, I, I looked at him really hard. I was like, okay, I just threw over 75 now. And the previous winning distance was the 82. So anything, anything between 75 and 80 is going to win. It's like, okay, no, we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see. So we, we go to World Youth Champs. Um, yeah. Thankfully enough, and I, you you know the whole process that um as a, as an athlete you you it's it's very rare for you to have your own coach there with you, um, but thankfully the the school that I was at at the time and the principal, um he he made plans to to get my coach through as well, and wow. I got him. I it, it it was it was a comforting factor for me to have my coach there as well. It's, these guys I'm going with. It's a mess. It's a mess. Goobie, 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 goobie. And yeah, um, we we got the qualifying day on the first day of qualifying. I think I, I remember I threw a seventy four or something, just over seventy four, mm. seventy four nine, right about with my first throw qualified for the final. This is a new concept for me. I don't know this qualifying for final. I'm like, wait, why am I only throwing once? What's going on? <laughs> I get six throws. I throw one. What's going on? No, tell me. No, you qualified. You coming back tomorrow? I'm like, ah, okay. What? <laughs> one and done. One and done. So we yeah. we go back to the hotel. Me and my coach. We we restructure. We try to calm down. And yeah, he just tells me no. We you started off really well. First throw PB, and I couldn't have asked for more. You through to the final so let's just rest and we'll we'll take it again from tomorrow uh the following day comes the following day comes and i'm just i'm just i'm stressed hey goodness stress there's a stress going on i'm like ah. <laughs> this is the final countdown and me i'm not even counting but okay no <laughs> we, we go there <laughs> You know, then they introduce all of us. I am new to the concept of being introduced to the crowd. This is a first yeah. for me. Like, okay, from South Africa, like, okay, yes, I see everybody waving. Ah, even me, I wave. I'm like, yeah, sure. You don't have to see corner and I. See the guys. <laughs> and we go, we, go, we go through, we start throwing, we start throwing. The first three throws, everything lines up. Uh, I made top eight. We, we had talked about it the, the day before. It's like, yeah, look. So now what you need to do is make sure you're in the top eight, the first three throws. Like, how am I yeah. going to keep track of that? On the field. I, I don't know. Okay. 
keep track of the first three throws, I make the cut. I make the cut. I think I was like fifth at the time. Fifth at the time. Going into the last three throws. And then I... Things went south. Guys pulling. Distance. Distance. Like, wait, 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 wait. How were you guys just throwing 74s? And now you're throwing 77s. What's going on? I didn't get the name, oh, guys. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, fi- I finished I finish, I finish the competition on, on, on sixth place. And mm. I remember I, they, they lead us out of the track while the, uh, the medalists are out celebrating, having their victory laps. And I, and I meet up with my coach at the, at the top of the stadium. And I, um, I, remember, I remember telling him, like, hey, me, I'm so, I, I disappointed you. I didn't get a medal. He's like, no, 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 no. This, this is a big win for us. <laughs> hold your horse. Hold your horse. <laughs> this, is, this is a big win for us. He, so he, 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 he tracks me back. He's like, you need to remember that we are not experienced in these kind of things. Um, yeah, especially yeah. Our, in, in our event, we've only had Werner Smith who, who won, I think, the 2001 World Youth Champs in the Hammer as well. Mm. Uh, and, and after him, there was pretty much nobody. Yeah. So I was, I, I, was, yeah. I was pretty much the next guy after Werner who tried to, to <laughs> hold the flag like, ah, guys. <laughs> Even as we are here, but I'm holding it like this. It's not. I'm, I'm <laughs> with it like that. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. even South Africa is. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. You, uh, you told me man. no. It's a win for us. You 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 can't want anything. You got a you got a TV out of it. First of all. Yeah. You have international yeah. experience, which is good for your future coming up because now you know you can fight with the international guys. It's 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 not gonna be, it's not gonna be a new thing for you to to throw with these guys. And third, yeah. you're training with a Commonwealth, you're training with a Commonwealth champion, Africa record holder. These guys are just guys to you. You have somebody already at the top training with you. So yeah, it was that. It was that, yeah. and we just started building up from from that experience, leading to the world junior champs the following year leading to the africa the african, african champs, champs. Yeah. yeah it was just a continuation of of, of events like a ripple effect in yeah. the whole i mean it's, it's amazing because i mean like you said uh if i look at the way you progress from that moment onwards you know it just showed that your coach always had a, a, a plan i mean it's one thing to be super motivated and ambitious and you know you you can have all the fire in your belly but if you don't have the right support structure and people who are actually making sure you hit your targets you know yeah um it's, it's not possible it's, it's, it's not it's possible like... but let, 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 let's do a few uh, welcomes i see tepo tito was in here i saw the likes of strip prep welcome to you guys uh our carl i see you uh, Beck's cake i see you uh, I saw the likes of one Steve. Up, I saw uh, 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 I see Tineka Kluta is in here all the way from the United States. Uh, we've got uh, Zandile Yaze in the building. Uh, I saw someone else. I saw I see Jack Heyman saying, having Tapang in our house is a huge motivation. Imagine a comedian to, to life coach. Yeah, so you're, you're like, yeah, you do both ways, eh? <laughs> No, I mean, I if, 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 if you justice. have if you have the means, why not? <laughs> exactly. I see that the Justin Lackey is in here as well. He says, brother, uh, the man, you know, the, the man who's on, he's all over TV, Baba. He's international. Uh, he's, he's national, uh, you know what I mean? Who knows where to next? Uh, welcome, guys. Thanks for joining. We see you We see you Um. Okay, next question. So, obviously, this progression goes on. Uh, world champs, African champs, you're able to win a, a silver medal there as well as a junior. And then come senior time. Yeah. So, so the senior transition yeah. is, like you said, you know, you were, you, you've you always been training, where you've been training with somebody who's been there, uh, who's got the records, who's got 
you know, he's your motivation, but also a bit of a shadow. Eh? If we, if we must, uh, <laughs> if we must put it uh, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, think right about there, it. the shadow. <laughs> Because he's got he's got one side as a title. He goes two. He goes three. He goes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's a twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three back-to-back titles. Nah, that is a, a, a world record. Twenty-three national titles back to back to back to back to back. Nah. Now it's time. God, I don't even think you can. You say you don't think what? You 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 don't even call those back to backs anymore. There's so many backs there. It has to be something else. It has to be something else, uh, and that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a world record. Uh, let's just let's just keep it simple. It is an official world record for the most titles won by an individual uh, person. You know what I mean? So in track and in the whole world, so, so in the whole world. Yeah. 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 Yes. And now, yes, this young man now, this young man, uh, Tefang Maketa, is getting in the way. Uh, tell us about that day and that competition. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, Tef, I don't even know where to start with that day, my man. I really, <laughs> it 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 stems from. I think, I think, if you if before you get to that day. You need to go all the way back to to twenty eighteen. Yeah. Uh, twenty twenty eighteen, I was second again behind Chris for, I think the second or third time maybe at 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 seniors. Yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty eighteen, we also went to the Commonwealth where Chris Chris has a gold medal and the Commonwealth record. And I'm just like, wait, guys, wait. Oh, this is this has been going on long enough, long enough. <laughs> so I, I start counting back the years. I'm like, I started throwing seniors. 2014 was the first time. <laughs> was the first time I threw seniors, and I got second place. Yeah. Like 2015, I got third. 2016, second. 2017, third. 2018, second again. I'm like, nah, guys. Mm-mm. If 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 I if I was born in 2014, those be my fifth, sixth year not beating Chris. No way. There's no way. Never. Oh, gosh, guys. Uh, I worked. I and then I started working with um, Michael Williams. He's a mind coach he's a sports psychologist started working with yeah. with with michael started working with michael and we just got out of the thinking habit of you know what maybe we're just not going to beat chris he is he's that he's that huge and i'm just mm-hmm. he told me no chris chris is a guy just like you yes he has experience yeah. yes he has been to all of these places he has all these medals and and but you training just as he's training it's it's not yeah. like you not doing anything you working as well i'm like yeah i mean you have a point so we st- we we start working through the process and we have we have our sessions telephonically the the only session that i had with him in 2019 was at the at the USA champs at the USA champs in Stellenbosch, uh, yeah. I had a physical session with him where we just did we just did our work the things that we know that was going to help us in the long run, um, and it's 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 just been from there it's just been from from that mental space where Michael put me in, and we just. We just went to work. <laughs> we just went to work. Uh, 20, 2019 was also the Varsity Cup where I threw 70 plus meters 
for for the first time in varsity cup history where varsity cup has been happening i was i was i, I just happened to be the first one to throw over 70 and i was like accomplishment yeah. yes. moving on to the next one <laughs> moving on to the next one we had usa champs after won. that and then yeah. came and then came seniors and then came seniors come seniors i'm already going through my head like guys wait the day has come <laughs> i'm fidgeting i get there i'm all fidgety i need to go get my license number i need to go weigh in my hammer i'm all over the place i'm like guys no this this can't be happening this this, this no guys <laughs> So we go we go through all of it we we go to the call room I'm finished getting my number we go to the warm up area I just have my headphones on and I'm running I don't even know why I'm running but I'm running running is your guys thing me I'm there talking through the field. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm warming up no one don't disturb me don't talk to me don't anything just see me walking running wave sharp by end of story We do that. Yeah. We do that. We go through all of it. <laughs> we go through the runs. I try to put my shoes on. They're already calling us out. They're like, "Yeah, men's hammer, you must go." I'm like, I don't have my shoes on. Can we just I'm like, "No, you must go now." I'm like, "Ah." You know, take my bag, put my headphones. You know, we're not even allowed our phones. We're not even allowed our phones on the track. I give my coach my phone. I'm like, "Hey, baba, hold on to this. I'm coming to fetch it. You must skip it." keeps it we go out we walk through we we enter the stadium there at the at the at the entrance we walk right to the field people are busy screaming papa go cross go like ah guys hold on we haven't even started guys rest just rest for it rest rest <laughs> we go we re- we're in there we're in there everybody has their shoes on we surveying the circle everybody's checking whether they like it They're pointing out all the things that they normally work on in training. I'm like, ah, guys, it's D day today. Ah, today's the yeah, day. It's time. I, I've, I've, I've waited. I've waited six years for this day, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I remember, I told, I told my friend, I told my friend Tsepo. I think he also joined the live. He was checking in. I, I, yeah. I told him, Vela, you must, you must check the headlines for seniors this year. It's like yeah what do you mean i'm like no check it's going to say 23 year old and streak at 23 i'm like it's this thing you guys no. 23 23 it makes sense it makes sense guys no. there's no way there's no way there's no way we throw warm up warm up throws warm up throws i think i i normally take three warm up throws it's like three warm up throws i'm done Ah, that day I had a whole competition plus another competition. I was throwing. I was throwing. I threw. I threw. It's like, nah, it still doesn't feel right. Go back to the circle. I throw. My coach is busy telling me. Bas is busy telling me. Hey, Baba, stop! You've been. I'm like, wait, wait, one more, one more. Just check this one. Maybe this yeah, one will feel like good. One more, one more. Slana Eskom, clear my chief. Clear my, clear my, clear my, clear my, clear my, clear my, clear my. He switches off. I tell him, yeah, okay. I throw. feels good we're like yeah now we're done let's wait for the competition now we're done so we start throwing i open up with a 68 i think it was a 68 chris hits hits with a 69 i'm like yeah no it's on you bet hi already already i'm in my head now like but wait guys chris chris normally has his big throws at the yeah, end of the competition what's this what's he doing <laughs> i'm shaking i'm shaking at the time. time i'm like no i'm like no guys this can't be it this can't be it. <laughs> so at the time at the time my pv was 71 28 meters i throw 71 26 my second throw i'm like okay i'm i'm just a little bit off my pv so that means We warm. We warm. It's 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 a lovely day. It's a very lovely day. Chris responds with a 7170. I'm like, guys, this guy. Guy. Matala kaupumle chief like let me just have this. 
Come on. Come on, Madala. Madala, wait. <laughs> hey, Madala doesn't want to rest. Madala doesn't want to rest. Like, okay, we go to the third round. That's when I hit the, the 72-25. Yeah. And the lights are baby. I hit the 725 and Chris in the response he tears a muscle. I'm like, okay, but this is not this is not the competition that I wanted. Yeah, yeah. This is not this is not this is not how it was supposed to go down, but I mean, yeah. you at the end of you have to commend the big man for for being for being a man of that level for so many years and and still and still crushing it and still crushing it um at the end of the day we were the only two guys to throw over 70 and i was i was i didn't even know that he tore a muscle i j- i just saw him fall down in the circle I'm like okay maybe he slipped he's gonna come back and third round fourth round he doesn't come out I'm like Okay, maybe this is serious or maybe he's just trying to nurse it so that he doesn't stress himself a lot. Fifth round, same thing, no Chris. So now I'm like, okay. Um this is the reality of it. This this those are the two throws that 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 hit the mark and I finished I finished I finished I finished the competition and now I'm just I'm in disbelief. I mean disbelief. I don't believe what happened. Yeah. I'm lying on the floor. I'm lying on the grass. I'm like, wait, guys, wait, 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 wait. I I I, I see I see I see the result first, but whoa, somebody pinched me. Somebody pinch me. I don't believe this. It 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 doesn't sink in. It doesn't sink in. I I think I think I'm so I think I'm so used to coming out second, third. I'm like we are not done. We're not mm. finished. We haven't thrown yet, guys. There's still something to happen. First, <laughs> you guys are joking. What a joke. What a <laughs> so I'm just oh we go we go through the doping guys come to me. The doping guys come to me. They're like, yeah, you we want you. I'm like, guys, but come on. It's my first time, guys. Already, you want to take me? Uh, <laughs> no, guys. Where's the fairness in all of this? It's my first time. Let me have this. Let me have this moment. No, the, the guy walks with me. I go through my interviews. The people busy ask, how do you feel? I'm like, guys, don't ask me how do I feel. I don't know. In my head, in the in the lead up to essays 2019, I've been practicing my speech. Like, yeah, I've been working really hard for this day. Come the day, dolol, nothing. There's nothing in there. I'm like, no man, no. I I practiced. I practiced. I thought I was gonna have a speech ready. Nothing. Nothing comes out, guys. Oh, whoa. Rest. So we're there. We're there. I get interviewed. I get interviewed. I do my interviews. We go. They tell us, yeah, medals. They're checking if the attire is, 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 is good. They're checking if everything is in line. And I'm just, I'm just like, yeah, but guys... I'm here. Me, I'm here. What must for you can happen now? Me, I'm ready. Chris is there. Alan is there. It's 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 a day, man. 